Diamond RV, and Big Y World Class Markets. All right, now in our second week of 10 Towns in 10 Days, visiting local communities and learning what makes each one of them so special, the people, the culture, and the businesses. And while we're there, we're giving back, donating to a charity in that town. Meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff joins us now with more on from today's stop in Munson, all right, I love Munson. Yeah, it's yeah. a great, so coming off the weekend, well rested, got the mini Winnie gassed up, ready to go. <laughs> uh, so Dave and Beth, I uh, drove to Munson today and you can still see some of the physical scars uh, from the tornado. Still though, I found a very resilient town, a very humble town made up of people who really love their neighbors. Day six of 10 towns in 10 days, drove to Munson. Take a look. We're a pretty tight community. Everyone knows each other and um, it's great. It's a good little place. That's even more true after June 1st, 2011, the day an EF3 tornado tore through town. Uh, especially after the tornado, everybody kind of came together. I think you got a lot of more friendships and relationships than maybe you normally would have. And those have continued to, to this day. The church steeple that fell that day has finally been fixed. The destruction and initial chaos in the moments after has been replaced by a calming movement of cars along Main Street. One project coming to a finish is the Memorial Hall renovations. This building was damaged by the tornado. We have a brand new stage with brand new curtains. Um, we're redoing the entire heating system now for this upcoming winter. People love it. They, they just really can't get, can't get over that we have such a resource here in, in Munson. On the northwest side of town, Silver Bell Farms is a fairly new addition to the Munson landscape. I put a lot of effort into uh, building the farm. You know, it took years to grow the Christmas trees. You know, it's been, been planting them now for 10 years. So when they finally started coming, it was time to get a shop built and open up. Moore has done just that. I have two kids of my own, Thomas and Henry, and they're, uh, they're five and seven now, but when I started building it, they were, you know, a little bit younger, a couple years younger. So I kind of built it for families like us, where I knew they would have a good time to come and uh, just hang out. There's something for everyone here. Pumpkin patches in the fall, Christmas trees in the winter. Inside, there's a cafe with baked goods and a room just for Santa. Yeah, we're excited about Christmas season this year. So we have Santa every day on the weekends and some days during the week where we're gonna have private time, uh, private story times with Santa. And then we have uh, horse-drawn wagon rides on the weekends so, and all the play areas, as long as the weather permits, will be open for the kids to come and hang out. Despite all the efforts, there are still those in need in Munson. Over the last 30 years, Munson Open Pantry has opened its doors to help. Munson Open Pantry is an ecumenical charity sponsored by the major churches here in town and all the people who live here in town. Up to four dozen clients need the pantry's assistance on a monthly basis. There are a number of uh, organizations that have done food drives for us. The school children on their own will do a small drive for us. We are so very, very fortunate here in Munson. The people here in town just support us tremendously. Western Mass News wanted to do our part. There's a need here in Munson for food. So we want to present oh my you goodness. Guys a check for $500 oh, to superior. help out all the families here in Munson. Well, that is just wonderful. And Absolutely this is wonderful. Of Western Mass News, Big Y, and Diamond RV. Well, thank you very much. That's Absolutely. just great. Oh. Nice. Yeah, it was it was a great visit. I'd been to Munson uh, years past uh, to cover the tornado, yeah. and they continue to make strides in the right direction. It's going to be an effort, uh, but the good thing is they're doing a great job. They yeah, have a great yeah. town manager. They've got great small businesses. Uh, so I love what they're doing. I love every time I visit Munson. Yeah, great we have folks, friends yeah. in Munson, just such great people, and um, just drove by there this weekend and still have some work to do, but they'll get it done. They absolutely will be. Now, I will be visiting four more towns this week. Be sure to tune in to Better Western Mass weekdays at 1230 for a live report. And then you can see the full story on Western Mass News starting at 5 right here on ABC 40. Tomorrow, West Springfield. Uh -huh. All right. I'm looking forward to that. Like yeah. it. All right, yes. Jacob, thanks. Next yep. at 6, 